This video is going to cover some fake news about lip scents. There's been all kinds of information going around the internet for years. Some of it's true, some of it's not. So if you want to find out what is backed by science, what is accurate information, watch this video. All right. Welcome back to Erin's Beauty Bloom. I'm Erin, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about lip scents. And so you may have heard um, that when you start using lip scents, it causes your lips to go through an exfoliation phase because they, uh, due to wax buildup from other products, other lip products that you've been using. Um, no, that's not accurate. Um, it is. This has been covered over um, on the Nerdy for My Sinna Sisters blog, which you can find the link in the comments, but I wanted to do this in a video format because I am still seeing this myth circulating. So, <clears throat> what does happen when you start wearing lip scents? You might experience some um, burning, peeling, flaking, cracking. Um, and this is what's been called the exfoliation phase. And this terminology is wrong, and I'm gonna tell you why. Exfoliation is defined as the removal of the oldest dead skin cells at the outermost layer of the stratum corneum achieved through mechanical or chemical means. So this is not what's happening. There's nothing in lip sense that is causing the skin on your lips to exfoliate. What is more likely to be the cause of this peeling, flaking, or cracking is rehydration and changing of your lip care routine. Not wax buildup, not exfoliation. So I just want to be absolutely clear, the term exfoliation should not be considered to be accurate when you're talking about lip scents. Um, it's estimated that 70 to 75 percent of us living in the developed world suffer from chronic dehydration and our lips are very sensitive, the skin is thin, it's prone to drying and cracking and irritation. So <clears throat> dehydration signs in your skin, you first see those signs in your lips. Um, so lip sense is a two-part system. It is the alcohol, the color is dissolved in alcohol, the alcohol deposits color on your lips, forming this thin, flexible layer of color. Then the gloss is applied over the top to hydrate the lips and seal in the color. So if you have dehydrated lips, you have small cracks and exposed nerve endings. When you're applying a substance with alcohol in it to expose nerve endings, it's going to burn, sometimes quite a lot, depending on the severity of the cracks. So that's where the burning sensation comes in. And the reason that goes away over time is your lips heal. So um, as the healing process occurs, you might experience peeling, flaking, and cracking. And you, this is because you have changed your lip care routine. When you, you, when you use traditional lip products like lip balm, um, they feel silky and smooth when you first put them on, but that feeling goes away and there's a need to reapply. Um, and this is most likely caused because those products, while they seal moisture in, they, pre they prevent your lips from losing moisture from the inside out, but they also do not add moisture to your lips. They're not, the ingredients are not providing additional moisture to your lips. And this creates a cycle of reapplication. And many people joke about being addicted to lip balm, but there is plenty of anecdotal, anecdotal evidence that suggests that people are using it habitually. And if you stop this cold turkey, just like any addiction, you're going to experience some effects. And so they're going to be different for everyone. So if you have used lip scents and you didn't like the results, um, but say somebody else you know, your mom or your friend used it and they didn't have much of um, a change in their lips, it's just because it's going to be different for everybody. Um, the related myths to the exfoliation phase um, is something that I've heard quite a bit of and it's called, it, it frequently sounds something like you can't use any other lip products while you're using lip scents or you'll start the exfoliation phase all over again. This doesn't make any sense. This goes back to the idea that wax is building up on your lips, which we know that's not true. If wax is building up on our lips uh, two or three years into wearing lip balm, your lips would be an inch thick. So that doesn't make any sense. Um, you're not going to start the exfoliation phase all over if you wear lip balm on a day that you don't have lip scents on, it's not gonna matter. If you wear lip balm 
while you're wearing lip sets simultaneously, it will reduce the wear because that lip balm hasn't been formulated to be worn over lip scents, it will break down the color. But that's a totally different thing than affecting wearing lip balm one day and wearing lip scents another day. There's no issue with that. Um, it really comes down to hydration. Um, as a field scientist, I don't wear lip scents when I'm working many times. And if I'm hiking a lot and it's hot and maybe I haven't been drinking quite enough water, I'll come back home, I'll wear lip scents and I'll notice it doesn't stay as long. Focus on hydration for a couple days, the trend reverses itself. My lip scent starts lasting a long time again. Um, if your lips are, if you're experiencing some peeling and flaking, you want to be careful using any exfoliants because you can damage your lips. Again, the skin is very thin, so be careful with that. If you want to use a gentle exfoliant, go ahead, just don't rub too hard. Um, so in conclusion, if you're a Cinegench distributor, do not continue to spread this misinformation about lip scents. There is no exfoliation phase. Wax does not build up on your lips. Um, encourage hydration and ask your customers to reapply the gloss. There is going to be a different wear time for different people, but it's not because lip scents is causing exfoliation of your lips. So um, I just had to get that out there. I want this video to go viral, so share this on your page or talk about it because we need to get rid of this myth because it's probably scaring people away from trying lip scents when in reality there is nothing to be worried about. So please um, like, share, and subscribe. And you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Erin's Beauty Bloom. Thank you.